Hello, my name is Steven Gottlieb, and I made up the basic algebra video. At this point, I would just love for you to sit back and view a sample demonstration. That way, you get to see a little bit of my teaching style. But we get right into it. I'm going to talk about prime factorization. In particular, what is a prime factorization of the number 72? And it, the first question is, you might ask is, what is prime factorization of a number like 72? Well, it is the product of prime numbers that actually multiply out to 72. Now, 2 and 3 are prime numbers. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24 times 3 is 72. That's the answer. That is the prime factorization of 72. And prime factorization is unique. That is, you can't find other prime numbers that also multiply out to 72. You might get these five different numbers in different order. You might say 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2, but nonetheless, you'll be multiplying 3 twos by two threes. And you may ask, is there some kind of an algorithm that can help me get this answer? The answer is yes. It's called using a factor tree. Now, although the ant using the factor tree will get the same answer, but the factor trees themselves can and will look completely different than, say, from your classmates. For example, one classmate might say, well, so now we want to write down two numbers and multiply out to 72. But the rule is you can never use one. Nowhere on this tree should you have the number one. Now, one student might say 9 times 8 is 72. Another student might say 18 times 4 is 72. Another student might say 36 times 2 is 72. They're all right. Let's finish the first one. 9 is not prime. 9 is 3 times 3. 8 is not prime. 8 says so 3's are prime. 8 is 2 times 4. 2 is prime. 4 is not. 4 is 2 times 2. And the prime numbers give you the answer. The product of the prime number gives you the prime factorization. If you notice, we have two threes being multiplied by three twos. Exactly what we had up here. Two threes being multiplied by three twos. So the next table. 18. Why, that's 9 times 2. 2 is prime. 9 is not. 9 is 3 times 3. And this 3 is our prime. 4 is not prime. You can write it as 2 times 2. And the 2's are prime. Notice, 3 2's multiplied by 2 3's. Exactly the same answer. Thir 2 is prime. 36 is not. You can say it's 2 times 18. You can say it's 9 times 4. You can say it's 6 times 6. How about we go with 9 times 4? 9 is not prime. 9 becomes 3 times 3. And the 3's are prime. 4 is not prime. You could think of 4 as 2 times 2. And the 2's are prime. Notice we got 3 2's being multiplied by 2 3's. Exactly the same answer. Now, if you look at these three factor trees, they look drastically different. The last one has 36. None of the other two have 36. The middle one has 18. None of the other ones have 18. It has 4 at this level. This one has 4 at a different level. Likewise with this. This has 8. None of the others have 8. It has 9 at the second level. The other ones have 9 at level 3. 1, 2, 3. So, 
the way you get the prime factorization using the factor tree, that might not be unique. I mean, these clearly are not the same. Yet, the results are, you will be multiplying 2 by itself 3 times, and 3 by itself 2 times. Now, I do want to make a comment. A lot of students mistakenly, to find the prime factorization of 72, they just do a factor tree. One of these or something else. You may say, something else? Yeah, 18 is also 6 times 3. So that would be another factor tree. If you're asked to find the prime factorization of 72, and you don't write down a product of numbers that equals 72, a product of prime numbers that equals 72, you didn't answer the question. The factor tree helps you get the answer. The factor tree helps you get the answer. Write down the answer. Write it down. I meant to write the twos in order, but oh well. Those five numbers are prime, and they actually multiply out to 32. There are three twos being multiplied together, as well as two threes being multiplied together. At this point, this completes the sample demonstration for the, my basic algebra video. Hope you learned a little bit about prime factorization. And most of all, I wish you great success in your basic algebra class. And I definitely would like to thank you for viewing my video.